Hi everybody, welcome to my little video. It's Beetle Dave, the record collector, calling to you from Derbyshire in the United Kingdom. I hope you're doing well and dandy out there. It's absolutely chucking it down in in the UK at the moment. Um, just going to do a video. Firstly, um, we've reached 6,000 subscribers now. I'm absolutely chuffed. I cannot believe that we've got to that many uh, subscribers. So if you have subscribed, thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, just think about subscribing because obviously the more subscribers we get, the more then YouTube can promote this little channel. Uh, before we start the main feature, um, just a little bit of uh, news that's happened since my last uh, video. Um, firstly, it was the 43rd anniversary of the murder of John Lennon um, by that idiot who I won't even say his name because it's not worth the breath to say it. Um, I'm surprised there wasn't anything put out in memory of it in one way, but you know, he's always going to be in our thoughts into John Lennon. Uh, very, very, you know, horrible things that happen to anybody, whether you're famous or not. You know, you, you know, to be took out that way is absolutely disgusting. That's enough said on that one. Um, also, uh, Band on the Run is getting a fiftieth um, sort of like re-release. Um, which is coming out in February, I think, of next year. From what I can make out, you're getting a half half speed master or remaster of the original 1973 American version of the album on one disc, and then the second disc is going to be a sort of like um, de dubbed. Uh, version of the album. So, in other words, not multi tracked and things like that. So, I'm very, very looking, you know, really, really looking forward to that. Um, I know Beatley Town's done a, a little video on that. So, if you want to check that one out, please do. And also, we had the very, very sad news um, that Danny Lane, um, you know, Paul's right hand man in wings, has sadly passed away. I know he had been ill for a while, but, you know, it still came as a bit of a shock. And I think a couple of days before he actually passed away, they'd done some sort of tribute concert to him uh, to try and make some funds for him or something. Um, very, very talented uh, singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist. Uh, obviously, wasn't just in Wings, you know, he he was in the Moody Blues, probably best known for singing Go Now, which they actually did on the Wings tours, didn't they? Uh, he did have a little bit of a solo career after he left um the Moody Blues in 1966, I think it was. Uh, and he was on DVAM, the same label as David Bowie at the time. And he did a single called Say You Don't Mind, which wasn't exactly a hit, but it's a fantastic song. And that is actually one of my favorite, well, that is my favorite Denny Lane song. Uh, I think Colin Blundstone, is that the right name? Did a version of it in the 70s. Then he did a band called Balls. Uh, again, other people have gone on to say things about this. I'm not going to... Um, you know, dwell on this too much, and then he did Wings, was a founder member of Wings and stayed right till the end, he was the only uh, member that was there throughout the entirety of, of Wings, apart from Paul and Linda uh, like I say, multi-instrumentalist multi in a lot of ways, and he will be very, very sadly missed, so our thoughts go out to his family. Um, right, on to the main feature, um, a few, uh, I think it was last week or week before, you'll have to excuse me because all my days are getting mixed up because I've been doing stupid shifts again at work. Um, excuse me for bending man. I did a video on this LP that I got called A Tribute to the Cavern, uh, which I did say at the time you could only ever get originally if you went to the cavern in 1984. Uh, I did have a comment saying that somebody had got a CD called Something to Do with the Cavern. And I didn't think I'd got it, but looking through my boxes of CDs that are up there, this wasn't actually in with the Beatles ones that are up there. There's in another box down there. And I found it, I, and like I said, I didn't actually realise that I'd got this. So just bear with one second. I'm going to put the dreaded granddad glasses on. I hate putting these things on. Um, and it is a three CD set, and it just says, The Cavern, the most famous club in the world. CD fat box they used to call these, didn't they? So it's three CDs. Uh, I'm not sure if this was ever released in America or not. Um, EMI, Universal, something else. I think this came out in the 90s. 
50th anniversary special that came out in 2007 it says there um, like I say three CDs um, I think we get a booklet with it this is a booklet look at the queues there to get into the, get into the cavern we remain about queuing now don't we little brief history of the cavern actually goes on for quite a bit actually some of the people that played in the cavern club um, the kinks played in the cavern club obviously there's a band called the Beatles I don't know if any of you've ever heard of that they played in the in the cavern club a few times <laughs> um, the Rolling Stones I think the Who played in the cavern, didn't they? I'm sure. I've, yeah, I've got a thing up there. The Who at the, the cavern. Um, that this is all, all the tracks that are on the CDs. I know this lighting's not very good, but like I say, it's very, very, very dark here today. I wonder what have happened to that band there. <laughs> This is where it all began, the cavern. And I think there's still a poster like that in the cavern today. Yep, so that is it. So you get three CDs. Um, you only get one Beatles song on it though. So you get uh, Please Please Me by the Beatles. Then you get Chuck Berry, No Particular Place to Go. The Shadows, Apache. The Spencer Davis Group, Keep On Running. Johnny Kidd and the Pirates, Shaking All Over, fantastic song. I think that was a hit in America as well, wasn't it? Really, really big hit in, in the UK. Um, then you got Scylla Black, Anyone Who Had A Heart. Anyone Who Had A Heart, oh, look at me, boom, boom. Uh, you've got The Hollies, I'm Alive, The Hollies, fantastic band. Um, Gene Vincent, Bebopalula. Lonnie Donegan, Cumberland Gap. Um, if you live outside the UK, you might not have heard of uh, Lonnie Donegan. He was like one of the first people to do skiffle, which is how the Beatles started. Wanted as a skiffle band, or the Quarrymen, as they were then. And his most probably his most famous song is Rock Island Line, or My Old Man's a Dustman. Oh, my old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. Um, then you've got the foremost, Hello Little Girl. Um, the Searchers, Sweets for My Sweet, Sweet for My Sweet, Sugar for My Honey, uh, Manfred Mann, Do Wa Diddy, Diddy Dum Diddy Do, um, Wilson Pickett in the Midnight Hour, Benny King, Stand By Me, Stevie Wonder, I Was Made to Love Her, so that's CD1, I don't think all them, I don't think Stevie Wonder ever played the Cavern Club, and I don't think Wilson Pickett did, but I could be wrong, and there's probably people out there that will say, Dave, do your research. They did. Um, I'm not sure. Queen. This is side two now. Queen. Uh, Killer Queen. Paul McCartney, all shook up live at the cavern. So that is a live version. There's a video of him doing that, isn't there, at the cavern, which was on YouTube. I don't know if it still is. Uh, you've got the kinks. You've really got, you really got me. Um, there was one set, got some in my eye. The Animals, The House of the Rising Sun. There is a house in New Orleans. Herman's Hermits, I'm into something good. The Moody Blues, featuring the late, great Danny Lane, uh, with Go Now. Now, I was watching a video the other day. Uh, obviously, I haven't had time to do a video. This is just going off the topic a little bit about where Danny Lane got a stage name from and I think that my old mate Beetle Brad said it was something to do with his sister was a big fan of Frankie Lane so he chose Danny Lane as the nearest thing to get to being Frankie Lane is that right if that it was if it was you Brad that said that you know thank you but you know I might have got that wrong because I've been working like a dog <laughs> there's something about that isn't there um 
Then you've got Jerry and the Pacemakers, Fairy Quest of Mersey, brilliant band and brilliant song. You've got the Zombies, she's not there. Um, the Swinging Blue Jeans, the Hippie Hippie Shake. Little Eva, the Locomotion. Cliff Bennett and the Rebel Risers, got to get you into my life. That's actually a good version of that, to be honest. Um, Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas, Little Children. The Mersey Beats, I Think of You, who changed the name to the Merseys, didn't they? And had a massive hit with Sorrow. Um, then we've got the Flower Pot Men. Let's go to San Francisco. And then you've got Elton John, Border Song. So I, I never knew Elton John played the Cavern Club. Or did he? I don't know. <laughs> Side three, you've got the Rolling Stones, it's all over now. The Who, my generation. Oasis, part of the queue. I don't think that's the Oasis as in um, Liam and Noel, by the way. I think it's another band called Oasis. Uh, you've got the Yardbirds, For Your Love, brilliant song. Donovan, Sunshine Superman, Sunshine came softly through my window today, but not here in Derby today, it isn't. Uh, Wishbone Ash, Blowing Free, um, Bo Diddley, Bo Diddley, Status Quo, Dan Dan. They were a fantastic band, Status Quo. Nowadays it's unfashionable to say that you actually like Status Quo or you did like Status Quo. But I always thought Status Quo would be like a good time rock and roll band. Uh, they are still going now but I think there's only Francis Rossi out the original line that's still in it. Um, then you've got the Tom Robinson band. 2468 Motorway. Edwin Starr, War. Thin Lizzy, Whiskey in the Jar. Rod Stewart, Handbags and Cabbages, um, KT Tunstall, Black Horse and a Cherry Tree, and that's about it, um, yeah so, you know, although it says the most famous club in the world it is, I'm not sure if all of these bands ever played there or all of these artists did, but I suppose there's some sort of link somewhere along the line, isn't there? All the CDs do look like that, so that's CD1. Sorry, that's CD2. These, are, these aren't even in the right order, are they? Alright, sorry. He says, that's CD1. That is CD2. And then that is CD3. And you do get a couple of like photos on the inside. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, somebody did did actually say if you've got it, could you show it? So you know that is why I've done this, and I think it is a nice little sort of like companion to the one we did on the tribute to the Kevin LP uh, a couple of days well, it's about a week and a half ago isn't it now which I've uh, had some really really nice comments on that by the way um, so that's it I think you can still buy this off certain internet selling sites and if you want you know if you want a brief history of the cavern and things like that it's probably for you um, if you're Beatles fan, I don't think it's essential to have because there's only one Beatles track on it. But, you know, a lot of the bands on here, I do know, did play the original Cavern. Um, is it a cash grab thing? Probably was at the time. Um, was that? Well, no, because you could only get that in the Cavern. You know, you had to go to the Cavern to get that. Um, I seem to think there's a slightly different version of this that last time we went in the cavern you could get, but I think it was only two CD set. Uh, so I don't know if, it, if, if it's this like stripped down a little bit or not, I don't know. Um, as always, thank you to everybody that is watching my videos, which is the main thing, liking my videos, leaving me a thumbs up, uh, leaving me comments and subscribing. 
uh, like I say thank you to everybody that has ever subscribed to this channel uh, we have reached a little milestone of 6,000 subscribers as I've already said I'm absolutely over the moon at that and I don't really know what else to say on that apart from thank you very much to everybody um, you know you are the beat of Beetle Dave um, unfortunately the past few days I haven't been able to make any real videos or really comment on any other, anybody else's videos because of my stupid work patterns um, hopefully things might change in the new year um, you never know could win the lottery or something <laughs> fingers crossed you never know um, I was going to do a tribute to Danny Lane but there's that many um, videos already out there and I think people have probably seen enough of it now uh, not that's no disrespect to Danny Lane but if I did one it'd probably be just the same as everybody else's so th that's why I've done this but I've incorporated uh, you know Denny in this video um, I never got the chance to meet Danny Lane um, although apparently once when we went in the cabin club many many years ago he'd just gone out of the cabin club as we walked in uh, so the doorman told us um, and there uh, used to be near the stage if you if you go in and stage and you go to the left hand side as you're looking at it near the back there's like a little just like cabinet which has got some guitars in it and there used to be a guitar in there that was actually signed by Danny Lane like I say brilliant 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 uh, vocalist in his own right brilliant songwriter in his own right um, great guitarist and piano player um, you know if you want to f find out more about Danny Lane just watch some of the other videos because people have done much better jobs than I would ever ever be able to do uh, like I say never met him I always admired him as a member of Wings uh, I think without him in Wings I don't think Wings would have been half as popular as the way I mean you know joining a band with Paul McCartney who's just come out of the Beatles you know it's a bit of a tough act isn't it you know sort of thing but Danny give him his dues was always there it was Paul's right hand man Monty uh, I don't know how true the stories are but they sort of like fell out didn't they uh, but I do seem to recall that they did make up uh, a few years ago and I did read a comment that Paul had put on just after it was announced that Danny passed away and I think it was heart heartfelt and it was quite emotional you know he was you could tell he was upset that you know his former bandmate was no longer with us um, so you know it just you know just proves don't it you know you never know what's going to happen treat everybody with the love and respect that we all deserve no matter what's happening on in the world you know while we're on you know chilling out listening to our music and things like that see I've always said records especially records are like a time machine you can put certain records on and they can take you back to better times in a lot of you know in a lot of things um and you don't need a TARDIS, do you? So you don't have to be Doctor Who to do it. You know, you can go back and you've got your memories. Even just looking at some album covers can bring back memories. It's a bit like reading a book, isn't it, sort of thing, you know. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you're all very, very well out there and taking care of yourselves. Like I said, you know, it's absolutely chucking it down out here in Derby at the minute. It's quite foggy as well. And we've got to go out delivering Christmas presents in a bit. Um, but apart from that you know just love one another like I've said to you all you know peace and love you know the, you know the Beatles said it many many years ago didn't they all you need is love and in a lot of ways you know if everybody loved one another perhaps you know the world wouldn't be in quite the mess it's in now but you know that's that's a different topic altogether isn't it so until the next time everybody just like I say look after yourselves be nice to one another um, and let's you know our thoughts be with Danny Lane's family um, and Yoko of course Yoko, Sean and Julian because I don't suppose it was very nice been a very nice week for them either has it in all honesty so uh, but we have got things to look forward to we've got the 50th anniversary release of Band on the Run to look forward to in February if I've got that right and that's going to be about it folks um like i say if you're not subscribed 
you know if you just come across this little channel and you like it press the subscription button it's free it doesn't cost you a penny and the more subscribers we get the more youtube will promote this channel and you know we can hopefully get on to uh, a few better things like I need, I need I need some new lighting I know that because the lighting in here today is absolutely rubbish so if this video hasn't come out very good I will apologize now um, and there is going to be a couple more videos before Christmas hopefully uh, fingers crossed and that's going to be it so whatever you're doing be, just remember Beetle Dave loves you and a little bit of Beetle Dave at your weekend can't be bad, can it? So until the next time, I'm out of here. As my mate Beetle Bad says, I'm out of here and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, folks. Love and peace, love and peace, peace and love. All you need is love. Love, love.